At this point, we have um, purchased a file from my vinyl designer. We've saved it to our computer. Now we want to know how to get it into Make the Cut. Uh, Make the Cut is a program you've decided to use. You have it purchased and on your computer. One thing you might need to know about Make the Cut is that they do issue updates. Um, and to my knowledge, um, we don't get an email when that update comes through. Um, I think it does sometimes remind you to check. But anyway, if you just want to check to make sure you have the most current version, click on Help and go to About Make the Cut. Um, as of the, this video, the current version is 3.2.1. That's the version I'm using. If you do not have the most current version, you're going to need to go to Help and the Make the Cut forum. And on that forum, they'll have the Make the Cut download right here. And you can click on that and install it to your computer, similar to how you installed um, a file. I'm going to close that out. Okay, so I am here in Make the Cut. This is what your screen looks like when it first pops up. A couple of quick things to notice. This is what your mat looks like. You'll recognize that. That's what slides into your Cricut to begin cutting. Um, this direction arrow is really important. You want that to... Um, you want to pay close attention to which arrow, which way you're putting this in your in your um, Cricut. If you're using a full 12 by 12 sheet of vinyl, um, it's not as big of concern. If you've chosen to cut a smaller piece of vinyl to conserve vinyl, then it does become very important where you place that on the mat. Um, so the direction arrow is here. Across the top, of course, we have our toolbars. Um, the zoom in, undo buttons are great. Um, it has... Um, the cut button where you can cut your project, um, the cut preview so you can see it. Um, pixel trace is a great feature. Um, this will trace most graphics that uh, may not be importable. Um, there is a gallery where you can search for items. Um, basic shapes, I'm going to show you a little bit more about how to use that later, but there are some built-in shapes. What we need to import a file from My Vinyl Designer is the SVG import. So I'm going to click on that. Um, depending on what opens up, you may need to navigate to find the file that you're opening. Um, mine opened up right to it, so I have my Alphabet 2 folder and my M that I have downloaded from um, my Vinyl Designer. When the letter comes in, it shows up kind of small. Um, most cases, you're going to want to make that bigger. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Okay, when you click on an object, um, you'll notice arrows pop up. Um, these arrows are for resizing. You can um, make it bigger, you can make it wider, you can make it taller. Um, if you click on it again, you get directional arrows um, that will let you rotate the item. And if you click on it yet again, there's distortion. Um, for what I'm doing today, I don't need to distort it or rotate it. I do need to make a different size. So I'm going to just click undo. Um, if you've played around and you want to get it back to normal, this is the quickest way. Um, so again, there's three different clicks. Um, you can resize it with a click, you can rotate it, and then you can also distort it. Um, so resizing it, I can make it bigger so you guys can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Up here is how you can resize an object also. Up in the upper right hand corner, there's a W and an H. W is for width and H is for height. My tile is six inches wide, so I'm going to put six and push enter. Um, by ratios, the height is a little bit shorter. Um, I prefer, you can adjust up here. Um, I found it for me to be easier to pull it down on the mat till the height is close to a six. So now I have it six by six. The next thing I want to do is um, import. No, I'm sorry, not import, is to put my font on. I'm going to put a name down here. Um, how you do that is over to the right-hand side. Um, you have text and fonts. Um, any font that's on your computer should be loaded in to make the cut and available for you to use. Um, you add a group of letters by clicking on this little button here. You can type your name in or whatever else you're wanting to use. Um, auto split would make each letter as it comes in its own individual letter. It's not going to be one whole name. For this application, I want one whole name. Um, you might want individual letters if you are um, playing with the sizes, making some letters bigger than the other, or wanting to um, push them together to be able to weld them together. You might want it to be auto split. For this application, again, I'm going to um, leave them in one object. So I'm going to click on add. I can't see where it went, so I'm going to zoom my mat out so I can find it. And there it is at the top. I'm going to 
just grab it and move it to the area where I want it. It is too big, so I'm going to resize it just a little bit. I don't want to trust my vision on centering this, so I'm going to select the whole thing that, accepts, that selects all of the objects. When I right click, I have many options that come up. I could duplicate it. There's things in shape magic you can do like creating shadows or rotating it or a mirror image. Um, for this, I want to align in space. Um, I want to align it by vertical center and that's just going to line it up on a vertical center. So now my object is completely centered. At this point, if you were doing one color of vinyl, say you're doing this on a white tile and you want all of this to be black, um, you'd be pretty close to being ready to cut. Um, I'm going to show you one more step um, in case you want to try to be a little bit more creative when you're ready. Um, I'm going to make this two different um, colors of vinyl. I'm going to do the red I'm going to do the M in the border in red, and I'm going to do the name in black. I'm going to show you that in the next video. One more point I want to show you on here that I failed to mention is the boundary no cut zone. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more on that so you can see it. On your mat is a no cut zone. The Cricut cannot cut close enough to these edges. So they've showed a grayed, let, grayed out layer. You want to make sure you don't get too close to that area. Whenever I am cutting, if I don't need the full 12 inches, I try to align it on the one inch square just to give me straight edges to put it on. You can do that anywhere on the mat. It doesn't um, completely matter where it's at. I just consistently use that as my guide more often than not. Um, okay, next video I will show you how to further prepare your design for cutting.